Shalom to everyone who is listening to me right about now. I am here once again with a word of encouragement for you. My brothers and sisters, it is good to see those that have been watching me for a very long time. And those that are watching me for the very first time, you are welcome to this amazing channel where I release God's word. Remember that you are not watching me by mistake. You have not clicked on this video by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you have clicked on this video. And I believe that you are in the right place. You are at the right platform. So do me a favor. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, and turn on all the notifications so that you may receive videos that I release. My dear brothers and sisters, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want me to speak to you, to pray with you, you can send me a message through my WhatsApp number and through my email address. All those details are in the about section of this channel. If you have been having uh, the desire to uh, be a blessing to this ministry uh, through your giving, you can now do so through my PayPal account, which is in the About section. My brothers and sisters, today's word is have faith in God. Do not be afraid. Have faith in God. Don't ever doubt. My brothers and sisters, many of you have been called. The Bible says it clear that many are called, but a few are chosen. Many are called, but a few are chosen. So have faith in God that God has chosen you. Have faith in God that God has instructed you. That God will be with you even when haters come your way. That God will see you through. That God will heal you. That God will make you well. That God will bring about a breakthrough in your life. Some of you, you are so close to your breakthrough. You are so close to your miracle. So just have faith in God. All you need is a little faith for that mountain to be moved. For that situation to live. I want to read to you a scripture that is from the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 5 to 13. Matthew chapter 8 verse 5 to 13. The Bible says, Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus had it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith. Not even in Israel. And I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way as you have believed. So let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Scripture talks about a centurion who had a servant who was sick. This was a centurion who was serious. He prayed for his servants. He did not want to lose his servants. He did not want. Because he knew the value of his servants. So he came to Jesus. Requesting him to speak a word. To only speak a word. 
Remember that his servant was lying at home, paralyzed. His servant could not move. So the centurion wanted to go there and see the master, King Jesus. King Jesus. Jesus wanted to come to his house and heal him. Jesus was ready. But the centurion said, no, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word that my servant may be made well. Brothers and sisters, you only need a word from God. You only need a word, a spoken word. And when you hear that word, believe that you will be made well. Some of you, this, the word that I'm speaking right now, that God is speaking through me, that is the word that you need to be made well. Some of your situations have been uh, dragging you down. Sickness has been dragging you down. It has been a hard year for you. But I want to encourage you that if you believe in Jesus, you will be made well. You see, Jesus marveled at the faith. Jesus himself, to marvel, it is something that is uh, huge. He marveled at the faith of the centurion. Can you make Jesus marvel? When he sees you, when people are hating you, when situations are bringing you down, but you still hold on to Jesus. Can you do that? Because if you do that, your situation will have to leave. Brothers and sisters, I am here to encourage you to have faith in God. And faith is a substance of things hoped for. An evidence of things, things that are not seen. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you want to please God, you have to have faith. The Bible says it clear that faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God. I encourage you today to keep hearing the word of God. No matter what people have said about you. No matter what is going in your life. Because the word of God has the key to your freedom. He whom the Son of Man has made free is free indeed. When God makes you free, you will be free indeed from that oppression, from that fear, from that depression, from stress, from mental illness. Some of you are suffering from mental illness. And all you need is faith. The Bible says you have the mind of Christ. And if you have the mind of Christ, you can never be mentally ill. You have to declare and decree. You have to speak good about your life. You have to speak uh, words that will elevate you to another level. Brothers and sisters, until next time, shalom.